Ravain shed tears when she saw it his grandfather lying in bed. Mrs. Grandfather didn't seem so intimidating in his sleep. Its appearance is peaceful. He had just arrived home when said by one of the assistants in the hospital is said to be his grandfather Bartolo. Even if he is tired of trip he immediately went to the hospital. He slowly stepped onto the bed it lies. The hand is shaking he caressed her hand. I'm so sorry, Grandpa. I did not mean to give you worry, she said crying. When he talked to the doctor what was it hurts, the doctor said it's just over fatigued it is said to be the doctor also told him that if. It can be avoided at work. The only thing he regrets is what he did when he left. It wasn't even him felt his grandfather. She should have been there at least she could have reminded him to take it easy on work. But because of his cowardice he thought he just ran away from his problem instead of dealing with that. It should have been discussed he was only thorough about the objection she wanted to marry him to a man who did not he loves maybe he would eventually understand. I hope he never did either that stupidity at the resort. He didn't leave her side all the way overnight he was distracted by the gentleness stroking his head. He was even dazzled by light coming through the window suddenly his eyes when he raised his head it was he saw her smiling at him him sorry if i woke you up hija he said softly its language no it's okay last night he fell asleep unconsciously it turns out he is all he remembered was that he held her hand while crying where did you go ravine he was stunned by that question l stay away i'll take a moment grandpa to think and to unwind or run away from something you don't want? It's a lingering question. Yes! Partly, I want to evade the absurdity of. Your idea. Do you think what you are doing is I will change my mind to marry you, Naftali? He was shocked by what he said. It seems not yet also changes its desire to pursue the her arranged marriage. Let's not talk about it now that's the thing, Grandpa. We can talk about it later. It won't make a difference whether now or not when in our future will this be talk about. It only comes down to one thing. I need to know the answer you about this matter, he said firmly. He met her gaze. It seems that none of the they are the ones who want to kneel down. Both. Conveys toughness of will. Nothing to those who want to look down first. Before you raise your objection, I would like to just ask you first to consider my condition. He's using blackmail now, he thought. I hope you have agreed to this agreement. I'm old, Hija. I do not know if how long will I be here to watch over you. I just want my mind to be quiet when I disappear there as a man will watch over and take care of you. He held her hand and gently pinched. Grandpa, don't talk like that. It's still long your life. You will even see your future grandson to me, he said nervously. So you have nothing to worry about. Hurry to find me a husband. Silence reigned inside for a moment of the room. I just want to know the answer you. Your consent, he said later. Its voice is pleading. Also in the eyes this is the silent command to agree that he, I can't give the answer right now me. Grandfather, I still need to think, but you've been gone for a long time. Haven't you yet? Did you think about where you went? You've been away for almost a week. He thanked the nurse for coming for routine checkups. No matter how it is, he temporarily escaped the conversation they have an abuelo who can compromise with. Him. What? Why do we have to go that far, Wrinkle, when Neptali asked her grandfather Fortune? That's where Bartolo is now based. Since he got sick, in Nueva Ecija he is recovering, he answered. But I have an important meeting with a possible investor tomorrow. Then screw that potential investor. He is just prying on our business, trying to get some scoop. Then he won't invest in us either. I just want to remind you, Grandpa, that it's not yet I agree to your wish to get married I'm your friend's grandson. Two weeks ago, he had to go away to think, but he still doesn't able to make itself agree to what it wants. Why do you have to think? Question this. You should have considered the my happiness, grandchild. I am old. Please spare me from experiencing poverty again, son. This made the voice very sad. So, you have to push me forced marriage because you don't want to suffer? That is absurd, he said, shaking his head. Yes! Tell me when I charge to you now, but I just want to protect you. It's for you that I do this. Is that so bad? Damn, you're so consumed with yours hunger for money. Why can't we accept the fact that the business is not doing well? You know me can work for another company and I can still give you have a comfortable life. 
You know that before you I was sent home from Singapore. It did not answer. He admits that he is also struggling rebuild the company. He is in Singapore based before his grandfather said the about the company's problem there is a month ago it was so sudden. Nor he didn't see the slightest reason to that happens to the company. His grandfather's business was doing well. He didn't pee in either rusher to manage the company because it is and he likes computers. He is an analyst at Singapore. So he was just surprised call him because he needs help he in the company. He was striving to make it work. He knows how important that is to it. One that is also his way of expressing. His gratitude for this and looking at the dead inside. These are his parents from the beginning when his parents died and he is only 10 years old. It's easy for you to say that because you never once experienced the hardship of a life. He frowned. The people asked I, I went through a lot of hardships before me achieved all this. Everyone is raving about me of those who became my bosses. But I didn't have any choice then. I had to survive. I did the all just for me to live. He just listens to it intently. It was a just said that thing. But because of my determination to lift I myself left my employer. In. I did, and I realized how bitter it was way of life. That the people uneducated is at the bottom, trampled trampled by those who raise. And because I'm not I didn't even finish high school see a sensible income. I had to beg to eat, I became a street kid. I experienced it there the hungry sometimes I think no nice to my neighbor just to meet that my stomach is upset. That's when I met Bartolo. He made my mind clear. From then on he was who became my brother in the street. My friend. He was my guide to live in brutal street behavior. Its eyes are already shining, maybe in holding back tears. It's also slightly raspy. Its voice. His curiosity was piqued in what it said. He has never done it seem to be weak or showing weakness. Just those moments. Now he admired it more. He did not know if he could handle what he went through this. It was tormenting for him to listen to him unfold a dark part of his past. He listened again to what he was saying. Until one day he got sick I. But Bartolo never left me. I will never forget what was done he for me. Finally broke the its voice. Seeing it breaks his heart crying. Did you know that Bartolo stole for? Mine? Because of his desperation save me, he almost went to jail. He also abandoned the principle he planted in me. But once he doing evil he helped me. I lived. I owe that to him. Can you blame me if it's just like that? Making a way for me to give in what is he asking of me? But, Grandpa, I also have to think about life I. If he is really your friend, why? He's looking at you now that it's necessary you him. He reasoned. I know he has a strong reason for it do that severe reason. He shook his head again. What you say, he's a no. Friend account because he suddenly stumbled when he hit his fist on his jaw. In the face this is the anger when he looks up. If there is anything between the two of us that should look at the debt, nah, heart, it's you. Naptali, you have no right to speak ill of S.I. Bartolo, it said breathlessly. He stood up when he stroked his chest. If he didn't catch it, he might fall this on the floor. He called one of the assistants and the driver and ordered them to prepare the car he is to blame if anything bad things will happen to his grandfather. His car sped off in the middle of the night. Meng was driving fast. Donate to the hospital. Hold on, Grandpa, he whispered to her. Fortunately, the street was wide open that night they quickly reached the hospital. A while ago, Ravain could sense the birth Alex's boyfriend's tension. Even he is already tense with whatever it wants say. Looking at him now made her regret that moment of madness she did in Porta Galera. Until now he still hasn't that incident is narrated here. He was afraid that it might not be him understand, but how can it understand that? If from the beginning he knew the wrong, did he do that? Alex had been very good to her. He had been a gentleman. Even once it did not assert that his right as her boyfriend. That's why he regrets so much to his unintentional betrayal here. Lex, is there something wrong? Is there something you want to tell me? He took it its hand. It seemed to be reluctant. He smiled at her. He also wants to confess here the madness that he wants to happen grandfather he wanted to make it clear that he wanted to follow his grandfather's wishes because of its health status. Ravain, I would like to tell you that. That I'm going to break up with you. I'm sorry. It was like a bomb exploded in his ears. 
It said, wrinkled, when he stared at it. It's not your fault. It's me. Even though he was hurt by his breakup, he did not reveal it here. Smile more, he is here to hide the pain. He feels it was better that way. She was spared from having to explain her crazy behavior in Porta Gallery. He didn't look for an explanation anymore here. Maybe he needs to indulge his grandfather. He regretted their separation, Alex. This is the longest he has been boyfriend she was expecting that he would be her future partner. Because of that and his grandfather's condition, he followed them to their hacienda in Nueva Ecija. His grandfather was there first. He's there. Heal his broken heart. He said goodbye to Mina and Lee this will be the first to manage the bookstore. He will go on vacation first. They immediately agreed. He said not to worry about the box store and they will take care of that. Good that is also an opportunity to make it easier he can recover from his breakup with Alex.